Okay, maths day two, and we're looking at fractions of an amount today. Um, basically, it's a combination of division and multiplication. Let's have a look at some examples and uh, we'll show you what to do. We we're looking at uh, fractions of one whole. Today we're looking at the whole being a whole number. Um, the good thing is we can still use diagrams to help us to work this out. So if we're splitting or if we're finding one third of 15, 15 is going to be the whole diagram. So I'm going to call that 15. And you know, it's asking us to split it into thirds. So what I can do with my whole shape is literally split it into three equal parts. Now, if I was going to do division, I know there are five threes in 15. Therefore, each of these thirds is going to be worth five. Now, one third is one of those. So you can see from this diagram really simply that one third of 15 equals five. What we can also say is if we want to find two thirds, we would just add up two lots of a third. So five add five would be 10. Three thirds altogether would equal 15. So let's have a look at this one. Three eighths of 64. Now, just because the number is bigger, does not make it any more difficult. Now, if we did our eight times table, we would know there are eight eights in 64. So 64 divided by eight equals eight. So this time our diagram, rather than be split into three for thirds, we're gonna split it into eight sections. Now again, this doesn't have to be perfectly neat. The main thing is that it is usable. Okay, there we have it. So, like I said, so 64 is our whole. It is the whole thing. So, I'm gonna do a little bracket to suggest, and just to let me know, oh, okay, that this whole thing equals 64. Now, we want to find 3 eighths of it. So first of all, we need to find 1 eighth. Well, like I said before, 64 divided by eight is eight. So each of these sections, each one eighth is going to be worth eight. <clears throat> so from this I can see that one eighth is eight. If I want to find three eighths, I need to look for three of them. So therefore three eighths would equal three, eight add eight add eight, or eight times three, eight, 16, 24. I can also see that actually 5 eighths of 64, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Okay, now, the last one, I've included a decimal. Doesn't make it any more tricky, but what you might want to do is use something like bus stop method to first of all find what a quarter of 1.64 is. So let's do that first. So I'm doing fours into 1.64. Okay, so fours into one, don't go. So that's gonna be zero. Decimal point's gonna just stay there. Remainder, one. Okay, so we've now got 16. Fours into 16, go four. Fours into four, go one. So I know now that one quarter of 1.64 is 0.41. So let's go back to drawing our diagram. We're finding quarters. So my diagram is gonna be split into four. And then the whole thing is worth 
six, four. And as we found down here, each quarter is worth 0.41. Now I need to define three quarters. So I'm going to, there's my three quarters. Two ways I can do it. I can either do <coughs> three lots of 0 0.41, like so. Three times one is three. Three times four is 12. That decimal point down. Three times zero is zero. Add the one. There we go, 1.23. Or I could do column addition, 0 0.41, 0 0.41, 0 0.41. Add them. So one add one add one is three. Four add four add four is twelve. Bring the decimal point down. Zero add zero add zero is zero. Add the one is one. One point two three. There we go. So three quarters of one point six four is one point two three. So hope that helps everyone today. Uh, I will be around to help you if you need me. Um, don't hesitate to ask at all. Um, most importantly, just have fun. Enjoy it. You know, you've done this in class before. You know how it works. Really good opportunity for you know you to teach your parents and siblings. Why not give it a go? Why don't you be the teacher for the change? Have a great day. See you later.